Hi guys, I'm Kristen. This is Kristen is Fully Booked. Today I'm going to be doing a non-spoiler review for the book Little Thieves by Margaret Owen. This was my first book of 2022 and it was the perfect way to start off my reading year. I absolutely adored this book. It was such a fun, positive start to the year that still had some darker, more meaningful, emotional exploration to it. This is a young adult fantasy retelling of the Goose Girl story told from the perspective of the servant who steals the princess's identity. We follow Vanya, who as a young girl was adopted by the gods Death and Fortune. However, she discovers at the age of 13 that all of the help they've given her up until this point comes at a cost. Vanya then steals the identity of a princess using a magical set of pearls and begins to moonlight as a jewel thief using the identity or the image that she now has as the princess to gain her access in an attempt to save up enough money that she can escape the debt that she owes to death and fortune. This book was so much fun. There's a curse, there's an investigation into the thefts, there's a political conspiracy, a great enemies to lovers relationship, scheming gods walking the earth, and a shape-shifting magical companion. Now before we get into the rest of the review, just a reminder that this is going to be non-spoilers. Also when I do my reviews, I try not to be so critical and instead just kind of tell you a little bit about what the book, the characters, the writing, the plot, the pacing, etc. are all like, so that you can make an informed choice as to whether or not you think this book is going to work for you, or maybe it's a book that you pass. So we'll start off really simple here and talk a little bit about the writing style. It is really informal and kind of funky with a little bit of a dark bent. If you don't like medieval or historical settings where the writing and the dialogue is a little bit more informal, then maybe this isn't the writing for you. I definitely always describe Margaret Owen's writing as a little bit funky. It just has this feeling of being fun and upbeat, even though it's actually a little bit also of like a dark humor to it as well. The writing is very much so young adult fantasy, but I think it could work a little bit in a crossover capacity where I think that if you are a primarily adult fantasy reader, but you're looking for something that is a little bit less intense, a little bit less heavy, but still meaty with emotions and themes and something that's a little bit more fun and light in that aspect, then this would be a great book to pick up for that. I think that it has some charming appeal that even people who generally tend to read adult fantasy would still enjoy as like a nice fun one-off. To get more into the characters here, our main character is Vanya and we do follow just Vanya's perspective. Vanya is sort of your classic morally gray character who does what she needs to do to survive. We definitely deal with some fear of abandonment here. We deal with some desire to be mothered and a history of abuse and trauma in her past. She does have valid reasons for being the way that she is, and I liked that we explored in pretty great detail so much about how her past has shaped who she is now, and her immediate reactions and responses to things, and the choices that she ultimately makes. It isn't done in a way of excusing the choices that or the things that she does, but more so explaining them from like a very visceral trauma response kind of a way. She is kind of fun and spunky with definitely some loose morals. And there is a plot line where she is forced to sort of address the error of her ways. And a big part of her change over the course of the book has a lot to do with reaching out to others, connecting with others, sharing her past experiences in a way that I felt was really healthy. She still was very much so herself. She just maybe didn't prioritize looking out for number one quite in the same way or with the same detriment to other people around her as she did towards the beginning of the book. The enemies to lovers relationship was really fun and it actually leaned into some tropey situations, but then spun them on their head. And there was also some ace representation in this relationship. I think if I'm interpreting what the characters were saying correctly based on how they felt, I think both characters would identify as demisexual, where in order to experience sexual attraction to someone, there has to first be a strong emotional connection. Now getting into the plot and pacing, the first half of the book definitely has jewel thief, potentially about to get caught kind of vibes. The first chapter is like the most fun jewel thief intro kind of a setup, very heisty. And then from there, it's sort of her trying really hard not to get caught as the investigation into the thefts begins. 
but the second half of the book really shifts more into the political conspiracy and sort of like this world problem at large, as well as leaning a lot into Vanya's past experiences, her trauma, and the curse that is sort of for forcing her to try to be a better person. So if you've heard this described as sort of like fun heist sort of a story, know that yes, there is some fun heisty components at the beginning of the book, but that's not what the whole book feels like. The one thing that I will say about the political conspiracy plot is that this is a significant importance towards the second half of the book. However, I was never really clear on what the political situation was. I don't feel like we had quite established the world setting in order to rely so heavily on the conspiracy in the second half of the book. So it was a little bit hard to grasp the main consequences of the conspiracy other than just like bad guy wins, <laughs> bad guy takes over. Uh, that was sort of the only consequence that I could see and I didn't quite understand the political maneuverings that were happening because the actual political differences between these various states and players hadn't really been explained. Now to talk a little bit about the world building and magic systems. This had a sort of Germanic vibe, I believe, to the world and the setting. I feel like she did a pretty good job of explaining elements in that regard. However, like I said before, in terms of the political component, I couldn't necessarily picture the world around her outside of just the nobles and the fancy houses and the city that she's describing. The magic system, I would say, is a soft magic system. There is magic in this world. Gods walk the earth, they interfere, they connect with our main character. Actually, Death and Fortune were sort of some of my favorite side characters. There's definitely problematic parenting situation here a little bit, but Death and Fortune as like characters, I thought were really funny. There's like that classic, like, I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed kind of line in it. Like that's, I thought that they were really fun godparents. And there are other gods that play a role in this world. There are also, if you liked sort of like the house and forest spirits in the Winter Night series, there is some element of things like that in this book as well that I really enjoyed. There is just like magic in this world also, and it does, does describe sort of various different peoples who would use magic and how they would get access to magic. So it is involved, it's not necessarily thoroughly explained, it's sort of just this is the way that it is, accept it. Now we'll get into the final part of the review where I talk about people who might like this book and people who might not like this book. Personally, I really enjoyed it. I did have a lot of fun with it. It was kind of the perfect, fun, upbeat book that I needed to start my year with kind of minimal stakes, but a lot of fun. Personally, I felt like I enjoyed the first half of the book a little bit more than the second half of the book with the political conspiracy maybe not being as fully developed as I felt like it could or should have been. But it just felt like it was weighted a lot more heavily onto the conspiracy than it felt like that would be the case at the beginning of the book. If you have read the other books by Margaret Owen, the Merciful Crows duology, I will say that I think the writing is very similar. You will really notice a comparison or like a similarity in the funky tone and kind of spunky abrasive main character, but definitely Vanya and Fi are different people. But just I think that there are some similarities there, but I will say that I think Merciful Crows was a lot more tropey than Little Thieves was. Okay, so who else do I think would like this book? I think that if you really like to explore morally gray characters and why they are the way that they are, like what makes their morals and how they choose what they choose to do, then this is probably going to be a book that you enjoy because we really explore how Vanya has become to be the person that she is at the beginning of this book. If you like enemies to lovers romance in young adult books, this is good. When you first meet these characters or the love interest, I think you're probably going to know that it's likely to be the love interest, but like me, you might be wondering like, how on earth is she going to get from here, and she, I mean the author, to where these two characters will wind up, but I did enjoy the way that it progressed. It was really cute. It was a true enemies to lovers. I have to think of another word to describe Margaret Owen's writing here, but if you like a funky, more relaxed writing style, then I think you're going to really have a lot of fun with this book and with her writing. And then just in terms of some content things here, if you like scheming gods, walking the earth, and getting involved in the plot, there's lots of that here. And also if you like more of those folklore elements and like the 
house spirits and forest spirits that were at large play in the Winter Night series, then that also is going to be here and you're going to like those elements as well. Okay, now who do I think would not like this book? I don't have as clear cut answers for this one. I think that if you are looking for a heist, like a fun jewel thief heist story, this has elements of that, but the overall arc of this plot is not fun heist vibes per se. I think if you were looking for a hard magic system where everything is explained, this is also probably not that. And then finally, in terms of this book maybe not being right for you, I'm going to talk a little bit about the trigger warnings or some of the content warnings here. I will just actually just read the author's note that is right at the beginning of this book. So she says, this is a story about many things, beautiful and ugly, painful and true. There are discussions of child abuse and neglect, navigating abusive environments, and trauma from a past attempted assault. For many of us, these are wounds, and I have tried to give them air here without tearing at the hard-won stitches. Still, I trust you to know your scars. So with that knowledge, you can of course decide if you are willing to jump into this book and perhaps explore some of those more difficult emotional wounds and traumas. This book did have a complete story arc, so you do get a satisfying ending at the end. However, there is another book scheduled to come out, and this is called Painted Devils. It apparently has an expected publication date of May in 2023. Okay, that is it for me today. Have you read Little Thieves yet? If so, let me know what you thought of it down below, or if what I said here made you want to read it or not want to read it, or if you have any other questions, just type them down below. If you just want to let me know that you are still here, that you made it this far, put a pearl necklace emoji in the comments for our jewel thief Vanya. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you like what I do here. It really helps the channel out. I post videos on every Monday and Thursday. I'll see you guys next time. Have a great day everyone. Bye!